I don't know if this country is going to split up. It certainly seems like that is the inevitable outcome. I hope not. I really do. But it's hard for me to see how it is any other way. And if we do, I would love to take Hong Kong and all the people in Hong Kong that have now been taken over by the Chinese Communist Party who no longer have freedom of speech, who, by their way, at their protests, were waving American flags because everyone else who isn't blinded by their own privilege, like America hating uh, liberals in the United States are, people around the world, they understand. They haven't bought into the propaganda. They understand that America is the place for liberty and justice for all. They understand that America is uh, the freest and most prosperous country in the world. That is why more immigrants come here than to any other country by far every year. And this Of course, I mean, a lot of times, not all the times, but a lot of times white liberals are the most like condescending towards minority groups than anyone else. And actually, there are a lot of people on the left, even Robin D'Angelo agrees with that. There was someone who commented on my Instagram saying, um, you know, the immigrants who come here are duped and they're, they're duped into thinking that America is a great place and then they're thrown to the wolves. I'm sorry that you think that lowly of immigrants, that you think that they're naive fools who get here and are just wallowing in self-pity and failure. Have you actually looked at the success rate of immigrants in this country, especially for particular groups? It is really high. You can come here as an immigrant, and if you work hard and you take opportunities, there is a really, really good chance that you are going to do well for you and your family. That's why they come here, and they don't come anywhere else, because they under they haven't been brainwashed by the anti-American propaganda in places like Hong Kong and other places. They realize that no matter what America hating leftists say, America is the land of opportunity. And so anyway, if America splits up, which I hope it doesn't, but if it does, because we just cannot agree on anything, which is what it seems like, we can't agree on anything foundational, then I would like to take Hong Kong, who is now being oppressed under the communist dictatorship, I would like to bring them over here people who love freedom um, and who, you know, can offer a lot of awesome perspectives for us. I would like to bring them over here. And then everyone who wants communism, we can do an exchange program, voluntary, voluntary exchange program for all the Marxist communists here who think communism is great. We'll do a little exchangey, exchangey. We'll just take the Hong Kongers and we'll give the communists over to Hong Kong and then they can see what it's like to live under a communist regime. And they can tell us what they think about it. And when they're like, oh, no, please take us back for capitalism, uh, we'll say, OK, but before we do that, you have to pass this. You have to you have to pass at least a civics exam, because unfortunately, there are too many communists over here who don't even know the basics of American history. So if there is a voluntary Hong Kong exchange program, that is what I am proposing for the design of it. I think it could be, I think it could be very good. I think it could be a very interesting experiment. 